Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. This is Heather Lynn, owner of Lobo Designs, here today to show you how to quickly hand letter something in Procreate, hop over to Adobe Illustrator, Image Trace, and turn it into an SVG to be able to laser cut, engrave, cut on a vinyl cutter, CNC, or pretty much anything that you want to do with it from there. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, which means that once it's in vector form, you can resize it smaller or larger and you won't lose the quality of the file. So without further ado, let's dive in. Today I'm using a screen size canvas on a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I have a 2017 second gen version and the first gen Apple Pencil. This little cap I got off of Amazon, it just holds the cap to it when you're charging. I will link that in the comments below if you're interested. Today I'm using my Lobo Script brush and I'm going to simply use the brush to letter the word home on a blank canvas and then I'm going to export it as a PNG. And we're just gonna move that over there and that looks good. So when I'm doing the export, I turn off my background layer so that I have a transparent background. So I go into the layers panel, under background layer, I uncheck, and then up in the actions panel, which is the wrench at the top left, I go to share, PNG, and then today I'm going to airdrop it over to my iMac, and I will see you on the other side. On a blank document in Illustrator, I am working on a 12 by 20 inch canvas because that is the size of the sheets that I use for the material for my laser. But you can work on obviously any size document that you need. What I do is I place my artwork onto the document and then I trace it. You can import it, you can open it, I place. So you can do um, Command Shift P or Control Shift P or File Place. Navigate to where you have your design click anywhere on your document to place it where it needs to be you can drag it over to center just so you can see it a little bit more and then from here we're going to trace i don't do any size adjustments on my designs until after i image trace because that will mess with the quality so clicking while it is selected if you can see this blue line around my design clicking once making sure it's selected going to go to the left hand side under the image trace panel and click the word trace. You can adjust from here if you'd like in the threshold for your nodes and things like that. I don't normally change this, so I'm not gonna change it today. I'm just gonna keep it simple. So all we did was click trace. We're going up into the object menu and we're going to click expand. You're going to leave this pop-up as it is, as long as everything is selected the way that it is here. You're going to click okay. Then you're going to click the Y key on your keyboard. That's the magic wand tool. That's over here. It looks like a little magic wand in the left-hand menu. You're going to click in the white area of your document. It doesn't look like anything changed, but it did. Believe me, it's grabbing the blank space. So you're clicking the blank space, which is the white space of your document, clicking delete on your keyboard, and now your image is officially a vector. If you want to switch into outline mode, um, command Y, control Y, or up in the view menu, go to outline, and you can see that these will be your cut paths. So your laser or your CNC or your vinyl cutter, if you hear the pitter patter of little feet, those are my dogs. I can't control them, so I apologize. I'm gonna pause for one second while I get to a quieter location. I apologize for that. If any of you have pets, you know that they are often the cause of the disturbances in our house. So now that we're back, I can confirm that this is in vector form because we are in outline mode. Back to regular view, back to outline mode. These are your cut paths. So as it stands right now, this could be exported to your laser, um, to Lightburn, to the Glowforge user interface, and cut or engraved on your laser. So what I'm going to do is show you how to get it into Lightburn. I'm also going to show you how to export it as an SVG. And here we go. So for the way that I transfer to Lightburn, quick and easy. Select copy, control C on your keyboard, or edit copy up in the up in the edit menu. So I have a copy of it. I'm going into Lightburn. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see. And control V paste. And there we are. You can change it to a cut path if you'd like, just by changing your layers. So there's one quick and easy way to get it over into Lightburn. And then in Adobe Illustrator, if you want to export it as as ugh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
If you want to export it as an SVG, you go up into the file menu, save as. You're going to go into format SVG at the bottom. And then when this comes up, you want to pick SVG 1.0. You want to make sure that decimal places is three. Make sure your screen matches mine. I change image location to embed if I have an image in the file. If not, that doesn't matter. And then you're going to click OK. And that will save your SVG for you to be able to import it to the GFUI um, or wherever you need to import it to. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the Glow Create group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.